Pepper, the colorful cousin of the more diminutive and considerably more painful chili pepper, these guys are packed full of flavor that develops differently depending on the color. Green peppers are prized by Cajun chefs for their powerful aroma as part of the holy trinity in gumbos and jambalayas. Red peppers are the sweetest of the bunch and actually contain more vitamin C than oranges. Yellow peppers are traditionally eaten raw in crudités or salads and are criminally underused elsewhere. Of course, there's a multitude of other colors ranging from white and purple all the way to black. These gigantic beauties are from the wonderful folk at Natura, sourced from the Torano Valley in Piedmont, which makes some of the best peppers around. Now, peppers aren't really used in cocktails all that much, which I think is a shame because they're delicious. I think it's because they're not sour enough, nor are they sweet enough to really affect the balance of a drink. They are, however, super aromatic, which is an attribute usually reserved for bitters or base spirits. Now, the best example of a pepper cocktail that I found on the internet was chopping off the top, sticking a margarita in it, and calling it a pepper margarita. You can do better than that, internet. In terms of elevating these crunchy boys, there's a few routes I'm thinking of. You could expand on that Cajun element with smoked spices, lift tropical elements through with passion fruit and guava, or expand on the aromatics with earthy agave spirits. Just like every week, I break my drinks down into three sections. Super simple, where no special tools are required. Mega tasty, where a simple infusion or syrup is needed. And ultra fancy, where maximum effort is required. But before I can make any drinks, gotta do some prep. Okay, so the first thing I'm making is something that I'm suggesting everyone try. It's just pepper juice, that's all. Although it's super easy, it's incredibly delicious. It's like nature's candy. Juice. Yellow peppers are super aromatic, so your kitchen will be filled with a delicate, subtle perfume. Start by cutting out the core, pith, and seeds from a large yellow pepper, and then cut the flesh into five centimeter spears. Pass the flesh through a centrifugal or rotary juicer, and then through a fine mesh sieve. Optionally, pass through a few layers of cheesecloth to make a clearer juice. Bottle, label, and keep in the fridge for later. Well, that was quick. Better make a drink. The first drink I'm making is a paprika mule. This little beauty is super juicy as the sweet pepper element is paired with aromatic melon, a pairing that makes sense when you put it together, although not so much on paper. Start by adding to a jar or shaker. 25 mils of fresh pressed lime juice. 15 mils of gum, which is a two to one heavyweight sugar syrup. 40 mils of Porter's Tropical Old Tom, which is flavored with passion fruit, guava, and white tea. 10 mils of melonade. If you don't know what this is, check out the melon episode for more on this one. Then add in four spears of red pepper that's been chopped into roughly one centimeter cubes. The finer, the better here. Once everything's in, add plenty of ice, shake super hard to smash up all those red pepper chunks and until it is proper frosty. Then strain out into an iced highball glass and top up with the finest ginger beer your corner shop has to offer. Garnish with a lime wedge and indulge in this blush pink naughty little number that is decidedly easy to drink. The Paprika Mule. Cheers. Back in the prep kitchen, I'm making a powerful flavor bomb that makes drinks pop, but it'll work just as well on your next fajita night. Start by adding to a backpack bag. 125 grams of de-pithed and de-seeded, roughly chopped yellow pepper. Two chopped and de-seeded dried chipotle peppers, which are subtly smoked that lend a lingering heat. To that add one and a half grams of amcha, which is essentially dried and powdered mango. It's surprisingly sharp, but it's tropically sweet. Set that aside and then separately add to a dry pan five grams of coriander seeds, which are kind of citrusy and woody, one gram of cumin seeds, three grams of whole pink peppercorn, and three grams of whole black peppercorn. Toast and toss on a high heat until the coriander seeds begin to crack open and everything becomes lovely and aromatic. 
add the toasted spices to the backpack bag and then cover with 100 ml of Tapatio 110, which is a particularly delicious, overproof, unaged tequila. Seal the bag and then put into a nice warm water bath at 60 degrees for one hour or until the peppers have softened and released their delicious juices. Leave to cool and keep in the fridge overnight. Once chilled, leave to pass through a coffee filter and then bottle into a small dasher or dropper bottle, label and keep in the fridge until it's needed. It does taste like liquid fajita, it's so good. All right, time for another drink. Yes, this world needs more cobblers. This is a great complex serve that is absolutely smashable. Start by adding to a jar or shaker 15 mils of fresh pressed lemon juice, 10 mils of gum, 30 mils of that fresh pressed yellow pepper juice, 30 mils of pineapple juice. You can make your own if you're feeling fancy. Then add 30 mils of the delicious, soft, illegal mezcal. This isn't one that is knock your socks off smoky, it's much more nuanced. Finally, add two dashes of Tabasco, add more if you like it spicy. Add plenty of ice and shake as hard as you can until as cold as possible. Then strain out into a highball glass filled with crushed ice. No ice crusher, no dramas. Just wrap a load of ice in a clean tea towel and smash it up with a rolling pin or hammer. Cap with more crushed ice, splash on a little soda water, then garnish with some dehydrated citrus. This thing is great. It's juicy enough to fill tropical with a lick of smoke and a punchy vegetal hit. The Torano Cobbler. Cheers. Okay, the final cocktail is a chaser. Along the same lines as a Vedita, this will cleanse the palate after a big meal or it'll just put a smile on your face. Either way, it's a killer. You can also batch it beforehand so it's ready to go when you need it. Start by adding to a large jug. 60 mils of that fresh yellow pepper juice from earlier. 60 mils of pineapple juice, fresh is best. 10 mils of passion fruit puree, which is actually pretty sour. 20 mils of fresh pressed lemon juice, 10 mils of gum, 15 mils of our pepper tincture from earlier, and four big dashes of Reagan's orange bitters. Give this all a quick swizz and then bottle and keep in the fridge until it's needed. When you're ready to serve, simply pour 35 mils of the Rubita mix into a shot glass, then accompany it with the 35 mil shot of the delicious Tapatio Blanco tequila. That's it. Shoot one, then the other, or sit between the two, however you want to do it, this thing is killer. A subtle heat permeates the juicy tropical overtone that rubs shoulders with that earthy tequila. Awesome. This is the Rubita. Cheers. Your team three cocktails using the fruit that thinks it's the vegetable bell pepper now i know a lot of people really hate despise and loathe bell peppers uh, i for one love them i think they're brilliant um, i think there's a little bit more to explore specifically with green bell peppers because they go through such a massive transformation when they're cooked or if they're cooked over a really long period of time so maybe that's something we could look at in the future if you did like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Uh, stick a comment down below with the one thing that you want to see me tackle in the future. And click my face, which will pop up here or here or something, um, to say subscribed. And that will keep you in the loop when new videos drop every single week. Until next time, take it easy. Be good. Love you. Bye.